welcome back to my channel. Hope you had a good Thanksgiving. You've celebrated and you ate tons or ate a little or ate a medium amount so you didn't want to throw off your eating uh, patterns. I kind of, I was good at the meal and then like all night long I kept going to the refrigerator and like having a little bit more, having a little bit more and I was like, oh, the last few hours before I went to bed really did it. But I um, stayed in on Black Friday went to the grocery store and that sort of thing, but Stan ventured into Walmart on Thanksgiving evening. A little braver than me, but it wasn't too crazy, he said, uh, but still a little braver than me. So I thought I would do a tutorial today on what the kind of makeup that I do with a red lip, because I've been wearing a red lip look recently and I wanted to show you guys kind of the rest of the makeup that I do with it, which is very, very simple. Oh, and a lot of my beauty items, like my curling iron, my Armani foundation, were all included in my Black Friday sales post. I did a huge one. Lots of pics of um, like home decor and beauty and fashion. There were some Sicily beauty products that are on sale. So I will link that blog post below. I also did a like, roundup of all my outfits that are recently on sale. Did like a holiday pajamas post, that's like a lot. So I will go ahead and link a lot of that below if you have missed it. And I did put a holiday tab on my blog. So all of my holiday content, like my gift guides, I just put a gift guide up for the loungewear lover in your life. All the cozy stuff like slippers and robes and loungewear sets. And then I also did a gift guide for the luxury beauty lover. In fact, I can smell it. It smells so amazing. I'm burning a Byredo candle in here. I think it's uh, Bohemia. And that was linked in my gift guide for luxury beauty lover because they do they did a set for the holidays and it is like I am just crazy. I've never tried Byredo candles before, but they are oh my gosh. The Bohemia especially is amazing. I think it came with cotton poplin, Bohemia, and Treehouse. Oh, and then I'm doing it. I've got I got lots to tell you before we get started. I am doing a favorite holiday candles roundup post. And that will be on my blog. I, so if you don't follow me on my blog, there's a lot of content over there. I do one video a week, but then I post on my blog, ooh, sometimes four days a week, sometimes five days a week. So a lot of stuff on there, some beauty stuff, fashion, lifestyle, miles, all that fun stuff. All right, I've rambled enough. Let's get started. I'm gonna do my Armani Power Fabric Foundation because can't get enough of it. I love it, love it, love it. And it's just truly one of the best foundations for my skin right now. I just really enjoy it. And I love the coverage. Kind of just gives a nice velvety finish. And stays pretty, not too matte. It's not like a flat matte. But it's a nice, I don't know, finish. It's like a velvety finish that wears all day long for me. And, you know, I had to return the Luminous Silk because the shade was way too light for me. And I just haven't picked up the darker shade yet. So when I do, I will definitely review that because I put on the light shade, but it just, it looked like I had on white paint on my face. And I was like, no, this, this just, this can't work. So I will let you know my full thoughts on it when I buy the shade that is more suitable to me. Right now I'm still just, the power fabric is just my go-to all the time. Next, I'm gonna follow it up with my Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I've talked before about this concealer. It is, it is heavy duty and manages to be weightless on the skin. I don't know how they do it. I don't know what they did in the formula, but to give this much coverage, but not to look cakey, not to look too heavy, thick, emphasize, fine lines, nothing. It's just perfection. I, just, I keep going back to, I'm the shade Almond, and the shade for my Armani foundation, it's hard to do this while talking. The shade for my Armani foundation is 3.5. That's a really good fit for me, or match for me. Just, it like instantly takes away any darkness, any anything, but on the days, that I want to do something a little bit, like I don't want to really kind of brighten under the eyes and really conceal under the eyes. I still really love my Tatcha Pearl treatment, but I use it before makeup. So how I would do it is like I have my bare skin and um, 
skincare would be all done that I just take a little bit and put it around the eye area and then I put my foundation on top. I don't like to put it on top of my foundation because it has skincare benefits. So I'm like, well, if I put it on top of my foundation, it's not truly getting to my skin so I can get the benefits of the skincare ingredients. So I like to use it underneath my foundation and just a little bit goes a long way. We've talked about this before because many of you have purchased it and some love it. Some of you love it like I do. And some of you were like, uh, it's too heavy. And my, one of you said to me it was too heavy and then you took my suggestion of using the smallest amount you could possibly use and once you blend it in and that made all the difference. For the eye, when I do a red lip look, I like my eyes to be like a champagne shimmery color, very like golden, not a lot of stuff going on in my eyes. I like a pop of color on the cheeks, but I really like my red lip to stand out. For the eyes, I'm just going to do the Sephora Eye Pencil. This is just a nice base. What color is this? Beige. It's a gorgeous, like champagne, peachy color. I've been using eyeshadow sticks recently as a base instead of my Urban Decay Primer Potion. And I like it. I like it a lot. So I just put that all over the lid because it helps to grab the eyeshadow color a little bit better. Oh, I didn't do my brows yet. Okay, let me do my brows with my Hourglass Brow Tool. Talked about this before. I think I put it, did I put it in my Sephora recommendations video of like what to get during this four so I think I did because I call this like my non-sexy products. It's like get yeah, the stuff that you need in order to like do your face every day, but it's not exciting like a red lipstick or an eyeshadow palette. Yes. Can't uh, do my face without this. So let me go ahead and put on my brows and I'll be right back. Brows are all done. Oh my gosh, I'm having such a good hair day today. And thank goodness I filmed the video so I can document my good hair day and someone can see it because it's raining awful. Like it's horrible outside. That's why it's like so dark in here. And you no, know, like it's gonna totally get ruined. So I'm so glad I get to document it on video. <laughs> do you guys have those days where you're like, my hair is so nice. Somebody, somebody see it. Somebody acknowledge how nice my hair is. Yeah. All right, so moving on to eyeshadow. I'm really loving the Marc Jacobs Primo, the Omega eyeshadow in Primo. This is perfect for a look like this. It's a very shimmery, kind of a no color color. It's just, I threw it on with a flat brush, nothing fancy. We're not trying to go for technique here because the eyes are not even gonna be really be the focus. They're just kind of an afterthought. The color is, you can use this as a highlighter on the face or on your eyes. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous champagne color. And I like to, like I said, put this all over the lid, not up to my brow. Like we're not going all the way up to my brow. I don't ever take a color all the way up to my brow, unless it's like a matte shade, the matte bone shade. But even still, I like to, I barely put anything underneath my brow. I also have been loving the Tarte, Tartlet in Bloom palette, because this is gorgeous for a very neutral eye. And oh, stay tuned. If you are a neutral eyeshadow lover, I'm doing a Cyber Monday post with Sephora and there's a deal that is gonna be going on on Cyber Monday and it's big. So my blog post is gonna go up like, like as soon as Cyber Monday starts, I'm gonna try to do it like at midnight or 1 a.m. because I anticipate that the deal that is happening on Monday is going to sell up very quickly. So I will be sure to check my blog on Cyber Monday if you are a neutral eyeshadow palette lover, as we all are, aren't we? And okay, moving on to, I'm gonna throw a crease color into, onto my eyes because I just like to give a little bit of definition. I love just a shimmery, I mean sometimes I'll just do a shimmery lid color and mascara and be done, but I like to do sometimes a crease color just to give it some depth and I'm using my bronzer, my Laura Mercier baked bronzer and bronzer too. You guys know I love to use bronzers on the eyes. I just love the way they look. I love them on the lid. I love them in the crease. I mean, bronzers in themselves are exceptionally warm. So that makes it a great color for going into the crease. So I'm just gonna go back and forth with that 
and finish blending the eye. I'm just gonna go back and forth in the crease and then I'll be back. We'll finish mascara and move on to cheeks. The key with a red lip, if you're doing a very subtle eye, is tons of mascara. You really want to have some type of draw to your eyes because you don't want your face to look off balance. So the red is gonna be very bold. You want a little bit of color in the cheeks and then the mascara will kind of kind of anchor the eyes, so to speak. And then obviously a defined brow, because if you just do the red lip and maybe nothing on the cheeks and barely anything on the eyes, it can look, like I said, off balance. I'm using my It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara because it's the best. I'm gonna put that on and then we'll move to cheeks. I'm gonna do my Charlotte Tilbury palette. It just has everything I need. This glowing skin face palette, it has everything I need. And it has a little contour, it has a little highlighter, it has a blush, it has a nice face powder. I love it. So I'm just going to take a contour color with a brush and go under my cheekbone here. You know, a red lip, especially during the holidays, can take an outfit and make it festive. Do you know what I'm saying? Like you could wear a black skirt, a black turtleneck, black pumps, and then a real festive red lip into your hair and makeup, and it's a holiday look. I had a girlfriend, I, she messaged me, she was like, I need some help with some holiday looks for certain events and parties that she had. And so I helped her pull together some looks, but I was like, go into your closet and just pull together like an all black look. And she's like, yeah, but, and I said, yes. And then a red lip, do your hair, do your makeup, wear a pair of stained earrings. And she ended up um, wearing that to a dinner that she had to go to. And she was like, I felt so dressed up and festive, but I didn't have to go out and buy anything new. It's like, yeah, best way to do it. Makeup, change the game. Okay, I think I contoured enough. <laughs> just kind of got distracted and just kept contouring and contouring and contouring. For, I think I'm gonna go for highlight next. And I'm just gonna, I always just blend the two colors. I love this palette because I just blend all the colors together. That on the cheekbones. I also don't feel like this palette is too much. The colors just, they just work really well. The texture is beautiful. And then we are gonna do, I love a pop of color on the cheeks. And not even like a neutral cheek, a, like I like NARS Orgasm with a red lip. I love this kind of a bright pinky peach because it really, it helps to give your cheeks a little bit like a flush. And I feel like that looks so beautiful with a red lip. And I know, you know, when I used to do makeup behind the counter, a big mistake that a lot of customers would come in and make is they would want to wear a red lip and they're like, well, I just don't want to do, I'm just going to skip blush or something. And I was like, uh, your face is going to look naked. It's going to look, it's just gonna to look too much. And they were like, yeah, but I don't wanna to wear it. And I was like, trust me, adding a little bit of color to the cheeks really helps to, I don't know, make the red lip, like I said, look more balanced, pop a little more. It's just, I feel like it saves the whole look. And that's pretty much the entire face. Now, obviously I'm doing this on camera, so it's taking me 13 years to finish it all because I'm chatty as anything today. But for yourself, when you're doing this, we're talking, you can get through this look very quickly. I mean, you don't have to do a contour, you don't have to do a highlight, you don't have to do something in the crease. Just make sure you do a lot of mascara, you need some type of pop of color on the cheek, the apples, and then your red lip. Oh, and your brows. Make sure your brows are defined. And I'm using... Uh, Tom Ford Dylan. It's one of my favorite colors. It's such a good red. One of the lips and boys. It's a cream. Is it a cream? Oh, it's a matte. It does not feel matte at all. It feels creamy. Like a nice creamy matte. And I love the finish. It wears all day. It's not exceptionally high maintenance. I only have a little bit on my teeth. <laughs> Make sure you pull out your finger and do that little trick. 
but I don't find that it gets on my teeth. It lasts all day. It's very comfortable. And it's a very, it's not too orange. So I know a lot of you are like, Mary, I know you love your orange reds, but we don't love an orange red per se. But I feel like it's a, it's a little bit warmer than other, like a really blue red, but it's not fire engine red. I feel like it's a nice classic red. Oh my gosh, just love this look. Like I said, very comfortable. And it's just a very, this is, it doesn't have to be only holiday red. I mean, this is a great red to wear if you love a red lipstick. Then we did, you know, the cheeks have some color to them. The eyes, very, very subtle. In person, you can definitely see my lashes a little bit more. It kind of is hard on camera because like the lights um, wash everything out. But in person, like I would even maybe do another coat or two of mascara. And I am holiday ready. I will have a little holiday party coming up and I, this is exactly the makeup look I'm going to do. I don't know, maybe I'll wear my old, this is an old sweater that I have. I don't know, maybe I never get to wear it because it has like huge glitter rhinestones on it. So which just kind of pigeonholes it into only holiday season. Okay, hope you found this really helpful. I know I'm super chatty today. I have no idea why. Maybe because I didn't do much yesterday for Black Friday and I was like, I want to talk to people. So I will link all the posts I talked about down below all the sale posts, my outfit roundups. There's so much good stuff. And then be sure to check back on Cyber Monday. If you love neutral eyeshadow palettes because this deal is good. And I have a feeling it's going to sell out very quickly. And I will talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.